It certainly is. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I am here with the one, the only, Mr. Reggie Watts is here. Here. Now, Reg, you and I, we have worked together for more than four years now, and I yeah. think it's no exaggeration to say you are, without question, the most eligible band leader in late night television. Yeah. Think about that. Yes. Stylish, erudite, you're good friends with me, which yes. speaks highly of that's, you. That's true. <laughs> that is true. Uh, but, you know, you work a lot. You work tirelessly. You are here for upwards of <laughs> six hours a week, you yeah. know? And. <laughs> It's difficult for you to find the time to meet new people, and you thought it would be a nice idea for us to help you on your quest to find true love. So, with that in mind, we thought we'd play a little game. Are you up for this? Yeah. Then it's time to play What's Love Got to Do With It? What's love got to do with this? Now, we're going to play a dating game where we get to find out who's got the hots for... Ready! Now, before we meet our three mystery women, Reggie, I need you to put these on, okay. okay? So you can't hear anything. Okay. It's time to meet our three bachelorettes. <laughs> First up, she's a voice actor from Seattle, Washington. Please welcome Ashley. She's a hairstylist and salon owner from Phoenix, Arizona. Please welcome Amelia. <laughs> Finally, she's an employment lawyer from Irvine, California. Please welcome Tanine. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Take a seat. Thank you for being here. Here we go. All right, Reggie, I can take these from oh. you now. OK. Reg, ready to find true love? Sure. Thank you for dressing up. And you've known about this segment for two weeks. Thanks for making such an effort with your wardrobe tonight. <laughs> sort of come with sort of like an out-of-work ghostbuster. OK. <laughs> Here's how it's going to work, Reg. You are going to ask two questions. Based on their answers, you will pick one of those contestants to take on a romantic date this evening. Does this make sense? Yeah. OK, yes. Reggie, what is your first question? Uh, do you want me to ask it now? Yeah. OK. <laughs> uh, where... Uh, <laughs> what kind of, like... No. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Um, what, is it, what is your favorite... What would be your idea of a great place to go and relax? And what would the circumstances be? Let's take that to contestant number one. Where would be a great place to go and relax, and what would the circumstances <laughs> be? Um, well, obviously, we could go to, like, a massage uh, place. <laughs> That's where people relax, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and the circumstances, uh, to get a massage. <laughs> Thank you for that. OK. <laughs> contestant number two. Where would be a good place to go and relax, and what would the circumstances be? Uh, I would have to say probably a park near my house, probably with a bottle of wine and a blanket mm. and my dog. And it would kill two birds with one stone because I could, like, walk my dog. Walk the dog. But also... Get drunk, lie down. Yeah. I get it. I like it. Thank you. I like it. And contestant number three, what would be a good uh, date to go on to relax, and what would the circumstances be? Uh, well, uh, Reggie, if you're down, maybe we could go to the moon. <laughs> and, uh, I, I actually heard on NPR there's a lot of astronaut feces up there, so we could maybe give them a hand <laughs> with that. It's a mixed bag, Reg, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Well, I mean, 
Yeah. I mean, in terms of you may have met your match. That's what I've said. <laughs> All right, Reggie. What is your second question? Are you are you into naps? And if so, what are the perfect conditions for a nap? <laughs> That's a question. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Contestant number one, are you into naps? Yes. And what is the perfect place to nap? I would cozy up right in Reggie's armpit <laughs> because he's got nice physique, and mm. I feel like if I were to curl up in his armpit with his nice arm wrapped around me, um, that would be a, a perfect condition for a nice, long nap. Got it. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Woo! Right? I hear you. Yes. OK. <laughs> Contestant number two, are you a fan of naps? And if so, what do you need to nap? I'm a big fan of naps, but I'm a big fan of the power nap. Mm. Like, 30-minute top snap, like a blanket, like a light blanket, but, like, with a fan going, so mm -hmm. it's nice and cool. And then usually, preferably, with, like, my dog, like, in my, like, my, <laughs> in my leg area. Just that, you know, that... Yeah, like, I hear what you're saying. Touch. <laughs> All right. Touch. Contestant number three, are you a fan of naps? And if so, how do you like to nap? To be totally honest, the realest thing I can say is that for me, a nap is actually more watching TV. Like, I'm saying I'm going to take a nap, but I actually just watch TV. <laughs> yeah. So you consider a nap <laughs> being awake. <laughs> I can't really take naps. I have too much coffee all day. It's too hard. So I, just... I am gobsmacked <laughs> that you might be caffeinated in any way. <laughs> so you don't nap, but if you do nap, you like to nap with your eyes open watching like, a program or a film. Yeah. Crushed it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, there we are. Okay, Reggie. There you have it. You've asked each of them some questions based on what you've heard. It's time to make up your mind. But before you do, here's our Graham with a quick reminder. Will you pick number one? She loves rubbing down and cozying up, especially in an armpit. Or will you pick number two? Whether it's a walk in the park or a power nap, she's got to have her dog. Or will you pick number three? who naps with her eyes open while dreaming of moon feces. The decision is yours. OK, so there we are. It's the moment of truth. Reggie, number one, number two, or number three, who are you going to pick? Well, I like the voice of number one. It's got a really super cute, charming voice. Number two really likes a dog. And number three had some really good, grounded, fun-loving answers. I think... God, this is so hard. Three? Number three! Oh. Contestants, here's who you missed out on. Oh. Ashley, come on out and say hi to Reggie. This is Ashley number one. Oh oh. Oh, yeah. Thanks, right. Number two, all the way from Phoenix, is Amelia. <laughs> Thank you so much for playing, guys. Thank you for being here. Okay. Okay, Reggie, this is it. The moment of truth. If you stand just here. Okay, Reggie. I do. Please meet. <laughs> Reggie, please meet your date tonight all the way from Irvine, California. It's Tanine! <laughs> Congratulations to the both of you. It is now time to send you on your date. Tonight you will be dining on one of LA's most exclusive hotspots. I am talking about the conference room just down the hall. <laughs> Have fun, you two, and oh we'll God, check in you. on you later. Thank you. Reggie, Antonine, everybody, head this way.
Welcome back. Now, just in this room here, Reggie and Tanine have been having their date. We're going to go in, see how they're getting on, and see if they've liked each other over this experience. Come with me. Okay. The, the ladies. So what's your idea of a relaxing time? Hey, guys. Oh. Hey. How are we doing? Hi. Are we good? Hey. I've yeah. come down to see you. Okay. Yeah. Wow, you've clearly both really enjoyed the chicken. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> um, so dry. So, so dry. So dry. How are we doing, guys? How's it been going? Good. Have we been getting on well? Yeah. So. We've been having a nice time? She's groovy. Groovy. That is a high compliment indeed. Now, Reg, I'm mm. going to ask you to put these okay. on. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm going to ask you to put these on. I'm going to ask uh -huh. Tanine all about you so you can't hear. Okay, you got it. Are you sure he can't hear? Oh, he definitely can't hear. Okay. I promise you. Okay. How is it? How's it been? I think he's nervous. Of course he's nervous. He's on a date right now on TV. <laughs> but you, you felt nervous before? I mean, he's obviously cool. The coolest man on the planet. He's obviously a catch. I mean, look at him. This is... I don't know how he's still single. Tanine, I am loving what I'm hearing. Okay. Look at him! Take these off. Hang on, let's take these off now, Reg. Can you take these off? Yeah. I'm going to give these to Tanine here. You take these okay. right here. OK. Tanine can't hear. OK. Tell me honestly, how's it been? She's super rad. She's really cool. And she's got really amazing eyes. They just go into your soul. This is crazy. That's I cool. genuinely feel like this is the person you're going to be with for the rest of your life. <laughs> and we found her in the stupidest game we've ever played in the show. <laughs> All right. Well, listen. <clears throat> you can take those off now. OK. Now, I'm going to ask you both now mm -hmm. a question, and it's just a yes or no answer. <sighs> I'm going to count you in with a one, two, three, and you just say and be honest. It's one, two, this, three. Oh, yeah. This, of course, has not been a real date, which is evident in the fact that, Tanine, you took one bite of this dry chicken <laughs> and chicken. thought I'd rather <laughs> run into a brick wall than finish it. But <laughs> the question I'm going to ask you now is, Tanine, Reggie... I do. Will there be a second date? One, two, three. Yeah. Yes. Oh, we've got a date! We'll be right That's our show. Love is in the air. Reggie, take us home. Ooh. Don't you know the way something's gonna change? The world is going into your style and days with your love. Not the way you fall. It's not about the way you wear your head. Any day you're known, but I got someone closer to the top. I got some chicken left to eat Tomorrow will never be coming in 
till it's here and then it will be today and it won't even matter so I just tell you from the bottom of my heart thanks a lot for being amazing and playing along and you're amazing and wonderful and amazing and also amazing thank you Thank you.